In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. We must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. When the church blesses a statue and presents it for a public veneration by the faithful, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come. That we will learn the way that will enable us most surely to attain complete union with Christ. That as we struggle, along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of the saints those friends and co heirs of Christ who are also our own brothers and sisters and our special benefactors, that we will remember how they love us, are near to us, intercede ceaselessly for us, and are joined to us in marvelous communion. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, they will see God. Blessed are peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God, our Father, makes his saints into the likeness of his Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, continually sanctifies the church. Let us therefore offer our petitions to him, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, a source of all holiness, in the saints, you have shown the many splendors of your grace. Grant that in them we may honor your majesty. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. O oh God of all wisdom, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you built your church on the foundation of the apostles. Keep their teaching secure among your faithful people. We pray, you know, hear our prayer. You made the martyrs powerful witnesses, even to the point of giving up their lives. Help all Christians to be a faithful witness to your son. We pray, you know, hear our prayer. You gave holy virgins the gift of meditating the virginity of Christ. Grant that we may see in consecrated virginity a special sign of the promises of heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In all your saints, you show your presence and make known your countenance and your word. Grant to your faithful that when they honor the saints, they will find themselves drawn closer to you. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O God, source of all grace and holiness, do kindly your servant who have erected who have erected this image of Venerable Lilia Petro, 
the friend and co heir of Christ. They those who are instrumental in the creation of this statue as a witness of the life of the gospel and stands in your presence to plead for us. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God, the crowning of glory and the joy of all his saints has graciously given you the gift of your patronage and may he continue to bestow his blessing upon you. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The right of blessing of this new statue of Venerable Lydia Petro is over. May Christ be with us always. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Congratulations to all. We shall now have built the part of the Venerable Lydia Petro with an awesome desire to proclaim your word and love to all people who do not know your goodness. And I offer you the thanksgiving for every gift you received from you. She was a prophet of the universal mission of the church. May her example inspire us to also be missionaries of the goodness in the world. Confirm the holiness of her life by granting us the favor of miracles. And for the gift of vocation to the church, especially to the MIC congregation, in the name of Jesus, your risen Son, and of the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the church. Amen. Amen. 